Welcome to Connecting the Dots, our Smart Account and Smart License Learning Series. Today we will cover an overview of Smart Accounts, including the different types, the benefits and best practices, and we'll walk through a demo of requesting a Smart Account and managing a Smart Account. So what's a Smart Account? In simple terms, it's a container that allows you to organize all of your Cisco licenses, devices, and license agreements. It also allows you to control access to these assets. In the future, Smart Accounts will allow you to organize all of your Cisco subscriptions, licenses, devices, and services. Anyone who has a CCO ID can request a Smart Account, and it's free. Why should you have a Smart Account? A Smart Account is already mandatory for many popular Cisco products, and you must have a Smart Account to order and receive Smart License products. Smart Accounts provide organizations with greater visibility into their investments. Some of the benefits include, first, improved self-management, Smart Accounts provide a single location for customers and partners to organize all their assets in a centralized, transparent, secure way. You can place orders and deposit them directly into a Smart Account. Second, Utilization Visibility. Smart Accounts provide real-time visibility into what I own and use. For example, this can help you know how your licenses are being consumed and by which device. Next, Increase Control. In the world of PAC, all licenses are assigned to individuals. In the world of Smart Accounts, all licenses and devices are stored in one central location for the entire organization, which helps you control access to these assets. Finally, enhance compliance. Smart accounts allow you to adjust access based on the legal and functional needs of your company. It provides full visibility and insights for renewals and new purchases. There are two types of smart accounts, a customer smart account and a partner holding account. A customer smart account is where licenses are stored and organized for a customer to access, activate, and manage. A partner holding account is used by a partner or distributor to temporarily store an order until the customer smart account is known. Partners who consume licenses for their own use will also need a customer smart account in addition to their partner holding account. It is important to remember that licenses can only be consumed in a customer smart account, not in a partner holding account. Both the customer smart account and partner holding accounts can also have virtual accounts. Virtual accounts act as subfolders within a smart account to organize licenses and users within the account. It's important to understand the different roles you can be assigned in a smart account because your role determines what you can access and manage. Smart account approvers are responsible for approving the smart licensing terms of agreement. Smart account administrators create and manage the smart account, any virtual accounts, and enable user access. And smart account users manage licenses within all virtual accounts, but do not have the ability to manage users or to delete accounts. Within a virtual account, you can be assigned one of two roles. Virtual account administrators manage licenses and provide users access to their assigned virtual account. And virtual account users can manage the licenses only within their assigned virtual account. When organizing your smart account, we recommend the following best practices. First, create virtual accounts to easily organize and assign your licenses and devices. Some of the more common virtual account structures include by location, technology group, business department, or reporting structure. Remember that if you do not assign licenses to a virtual account, they will be assigned to the default virtual account. Next, avoid creating multiple customer smart accounts for your company, as you cannot transfer licenses and devices between your smart accounts. And finally, while ordering, always select the customer smart account or partner holding account and the virtual account. Partners and distributors should only assign to a partner holding account when the customer smart account is not known. This is because licenses can only be consumed in a customer smart account. One of the key questions customers and partners ask is can I view my Cisco licenses and devices in my smart account? And the answer is no. A smart account is where you set up the profile and organize your licenses and devices but to view and manage them, you will have to access the individual licensing platforms, LRP, CSSM, and EA Workspace. LRP shows only your classic license capabilities, while CSSM captures both your smart license and hybrid license capabilities. The EA Workspace provides you with access to your enterprise agreements. So now that you understand what a smart account is, how do you get access? Navigate to software.cisco.com where you can request a customer smart account, a partner holding account, or request access to an existing smart account. When you reach the Cisco website, navigate to the bottom right of the page in the administration section. Requesting a smart account generates an automated email to the smart account administrator for activation approval. After your smart account has been activated, 
you can access it by selecting Manage Smart Account. Once you enter the account, you'll see tabs at the top of the page based on the role you've been assigned. The Account Properties tab provides a snapshot of the account information. The Virtual Accounts tab allows you to add and delete virtual accounts and view all virtual accounts associated with the Smart Account. Users and user groups respectively show the list of users and their groupings that have access to the Smart Account. The Custom Tags tab shows all of the virtual account tags that have been created for the Smart Account. Access requests are where you can see all of the people who have requested access to the Smart Account and either approve or deny their access. Under the Account Agreements tab, you can access and sign the Smart Licensing Terms of Agreements that govern the account. And the Event Log shows the history of all transactions related to the Smart Account. If you are a partner, your view of the Partner Holding Account will not include the Account Agreements tab. To get a more detailed explanation of each of these tabs, please refer to the links in the video description for more information. Looking for additional resources? Check out the Cisco Smart Account page and Sales Connect for more information. Thank you for watching this video as we covered a high-level overview of Smart Accounts. Thank you.